Good morning, everyone. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizard. That's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. Today, and I say this every day, I'm going to interrupt myself because I know I say this every time that I jump on camera. Um, we're reviewing something really special today. And not just in that I love toys, therefore everything is special, but like really something special today. A few, six, six months ago, whoo, six months ago, um, I was fortunate enough to review a custom G.I. Joe action figure that was sent to me by Scorched Earth Creations, Matt LaCroix from Scor Scorched Earth Creations. Um, he and a bunch of his buddies teamed up and they made something so incredibly special and beautiful for uh, G.I. Joe collectors and custom action figure collectors. So let me just jump right in and show you. Take a look at this. I'm going to open this packaging. This is, they're calling it Coco. It's Cobra Commander from the G.I. Joe movie when his helmet's off and he's de-evolving um, from, you know, a man becoming more and more snake-like. So we have the iconic, I was once a man, um, right there on the packaging. So um, I'm going to have an entire article dedicated to this action figure, how it was created. I have some notes. We'll talk a little bit today. I had a phone call with Matt. And we did an interview, and so I'm going to transcribe that and have a full informational piece on Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. But for right now, I, rem I will go through my notes and let you guys know a little bit about how the guys made this figure. Um, but it's gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a whole article dedicated to it because it's just so amazing. Matt is no stranger to GI Joe customs, of course. Uh, you can see some of his work done for Joe Fest, which is the G.I. Joe fan event in Augusta, Georgia. Um, so, and again, he's just well known in the community. And I'll show you real quick his, uh, the Zorana, customized Zorana that he sent to me. So again, I did a whole review video and article with extra pictures um, for this action figure. And I will, you know, I put a link to the description if you guys want to go back and watch that video as well. But today we're talking about the Cobra Commander. Um, I asked around in the G.I. Joe community because remember, I'll be really straightforward. I did not collect G.I. Joe as a kid. Um, I was more into traditional girly things. And I mistakenly thought that G.I. Joe was, I hate to say it, toxic masculinity. Now as a grown-up, I see Matt and I have a laugh about this. He's like, I made a lizard man. And I mean, there's there's ninjas, there's a Russian babe, there's a dude with a silver face, there's Cobra Commander, you know, all covered up, doing, you know, his ridiculous screechy voice. So like as an adult now and an enthusiast and a toy collector, I understand that, you know, G.I. Joe is not just dudes running with guns but when i was three and like rainbow bright was here and gi joe was here transformers was somewhere in the middle i was cool with the robots i loved them but anyway gi joe was too much on the dude scale for me missed opportunity i totally admit that so look at this packaging so i asked my friends in the community and i said were there any action figures made from the 1987 gi joe movie i just really didn't know these three characters on the back i'm told are the, the toys that were made and this one was the toy that should have been made. So behind this project, there are three gentlemen behind the project. We have Matt LaCroix, and Matt's part was he did the initial prototype of the toy. He um, broke down his prototype and sent it to Dennis Carbro of Level 7 Studios. He made the final mold and casted everything, sent it back to Matt. Matt assembled, did the rivets, did all the painting, and then sent them to Jason Lucky, who did all the box design, all the business sides of it, and was the brainchild for this project. So the three of them made this like trinity, this awesome triforce, trifecta, whatever tri word you want to use. But the, um, the three of them were the ones that brought this to life. They made 50 figures, and that's a lot of work when every single one of them is hand-painted, hand-cast, um, a labor of love from the custom toy community. And oh, as you can see, there's nothing on the back. That was something I was yelled at when I showed off the initial pictures of this because I was lucky enough to get one. These things went in a claim sale, like in a hurry. Almost no one had a chance, and I was lucky enough. And I bought this like a big girl. I took out my wallet like a big kid, 
and I bought this from the gentleman because they deserve every penny for all their hard work. So uh, this was not gratis, but I am still, knowing how limited it is, 29 out of 50, knowing how limited it is, I am so grateful. But when I showed off pictures of this, um, you know, of course, I showed off a couple pictures of just the toy, and I showed some pictures of my, because that's how I show how happy I am. And one of you out there yelled at me. He didn't like it. Stop showing the same picture 50 times. Show the back of the box. Show the, show the toy. Sorry. My face doesn't work for everybody. But I am happy to be happy. So here he is. 3.75 inches of majesty. So I'm sure a more skilled eye could see where the original toy ends. I see there's a slight variation of color. For I'm guessing this is the, see I'm guessing this is the custom piece. Ver, oh no, this is the custom probably the custom piece versus the original toy. So we have a little bit of a lighter blue here, but then that matches the paint right here. So I'm not even gonna play to the toy expert guessing game um, because this is seamless to me. I love it. Still articulated as much as a GI Joe toy is. Um, the painting and any of the new molding that the gentleman did didn't affect this negatively at all look at the foot like look at that monster foot do you see that yeah there he goes you step on me Rawr. um that is so cool this is so well done and like this little detail of you know pants ripping like hulk style all of this stuff is so beautifully considered really again this is all hand casted handmade paint just by people who love making the toys that they love this is perfection. I adore this piece. And the detail in the face. Do you see that? Does that help? Like it's makeup. There we go. It does help. Wow. All those YouTubers know what they're doing when they put their hands in the thing. All right. Now I lost. There we go. <laughs> but again, um, super beautiful packaging. I have, other than the Zorana figure, uh, or the customized ones, the one the one that was once a Zorana figure. The only other toy in my GI Joe collection is I have two Baronesses. This is don't drop your gun, babe. See, oh she's such a babe. Yeah, look at that gun, Cobra. Uh, and then the only other one. This is not a Matt creation, but I'll show it anyway. This is from the SoCal Joe Show. They had some convention exclusives as well. See, so it comes with a little naughty doggy and we have um, the patch the cobra patch we have our security team commander this one's really cool looking too i'm just showing you guys this one for funsies this box while i prefer the shell while i prefer the clamshell packaging on um scorched earth and company's toy better i have to say the card on this other custom is pretty snazzy so i was fortunate enough to get myself one of these so that made me super, super happy. Let's go back to this one. So yeah, awesome. And you know, Matt did say when we were on the phone together, he's like, I wanted to make a toy that people can play with. Um, of course, if you just want to put this on your shelf for collectability, I mean, my hair's on it though. Um, then that's fantastic too, because it's a piece of art. It's a work of art. It is a beautiful, beautiful figure, but you can play with this. This guy, um, this Coco, will blend seamlessly into your other GI Joe toys and um, like just imagine the photography opp opportunities. There's so many awesome sets and play sets and just ways to stage. I love toy photography. It makes me so happy. So I hope that this gets utilized for that and not for me because I, I don't art the art. I'm going through my notes right now. Um, and I asked the guys, um, I asked the gentleman, how was the reception to this? Um, what happened once you were like, you you made your Halloween deadline, you wanted to get those 50 action figures out, it took you a year, what was the reception? And again, the guys said that they were, people were just freaking out, and they went so quickly, like before Matt could even go on Facebook to see the post of like, the claim sales active, like they were literally all gone. Um, and then of course, again, this is going to be in the article, but Matt wanted to make sure that he mentioned that his mentor, um, Bill, Bill Merkline, Bill Merkline was involved in this as well. Bill Merkline is, was, um, he's retired, but he was a GI Joe toy designer. He designed some of the most iconic characters of the Joe line. And during the process of making this Coco, 
um, Matt was sending pictures of the toy, of the progress to Bill to basically get his blessing, and he got it. So that's really amazing. Like, if I could get my writing or manuscripts looked at by, like, Judy Bloom or Arl Stein, and they were like, you know what? You, you, you hit all the nails of what you've learned <laughs> from loving our stuff. I, I would lose my mind. So I honestly, as an artist, when you're just doing what you love to do and the people that you admire and learn from are like, you're doing it right, kid, it's such, such a feeling. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, show this off to you guys, let you take a peek. I wanted to give the guys some love, Jason, Matt, and Dennis, to just let you guys know that you rocked it. This toy is phenomenal. I adore it. It's going right into my collection of other customs. I can't wait to review more customs from you guys. And hopefully I'm making it out to Joe Fest in June. So let you know if Toy Wizards will be making an appearance over there. Make a comment if you want to see us there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's do a let's do a toy, a toy collecting panel. GI Joe's collecting panel. Mm hmm. All right. Cool. And you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Stick with us for the rest of the week and see all of our toy reviews, toy news, editorials, listicles, all sorts of fun stuff. And you guys be safe. And I will find you soon. Okay. All right. Be good. Bye.